I am glad to present my small results on this great platform and on the topic of algae divisor or related to petroleum diesel. And uh, we know, we all know about the fossil fuel. It is the non-renewable source of energy, uh, which is found from the uh, geological past, uh, from the remains of dead plants and animals. We all, we all, we all are familiar about it. And fossil fuels are we, we all know that coal, petroleum, and natural, natural gas. And it is mainly it is used in all the transportation transportation sector. And fossil fuel, as the fossil fuel is non renewable source of energy, it, it, uh, we know that it will be vanish, it will vanish in the in near future. And according to the CIA world uh, fact book and historical, if we use uh, use only oil by by so fulfilling the demand of uh, gas and coal, then it will be vanished by the year 2051. And if we use uh, only gas, then it will be vanished by the year 2063 AD. And similarly, like coal will vanish in. Uh, 2093 AD, and before the banishment of this um, fossil fuel, we it is necessary that we should we should, we should uh, develop the uh, best and effective alternatives of this fossil fuel so that we can sustain our life. An alternative of fossil fuel, petroleum diesel. I am as I am as my research is concentrated for the uh, petroleum diesel, and here I, uh, you may think about its alternative is solar electricity. But it's not. It is not effective for the um, eco-friendly. It's it needs batteries, and uh, it's dis we know that its disposal is di um, difficult as it contains lithium acids, lead ion. Its disposal is quite difficult, and hydrogen fuel cell. It is uh, it is bulky in size, uh, and that means it uh, requires a lot of space uh, to um, to store hydrogen fuel, and uh, it is expensive. Expensive. And let let's talk. Uh, let's see about the biodiesel. And biodiesel is uh, similar to like diesel, but uh, it contains ester function group. And biogas is carbon neutral, means it emits no net, no net greenhouse gases. Uh, that means it uh, it has uh, carbon dioxide absorbed by the plants is equal to the amount of carbon dioxide released during its burning. And uh, the biodiesel, the emissions of the um, combustion of biodiesel uh, reduces the amount of harmful gases and particulate matter uh, than the diesel fuel. And uh, uh, one, one important thing is that, uh, like, like your solar electricity and hydrogen fuel cell, fuel cell we have to change the orientations of the uh, engine or uh, I mean uh, vehicles. But by using by the biodiesel, it, it is not necessary to uh, alter the um, existing vehicle technologies. We can uh, use biodiesel in existing vehicle technologies with our, which, which will be economic. And uh, biodiesel can be produced from different crops and must. The most effective is on this uh, microalgae too, which contains about 70 percent of oil uh, by its weight, and uh, mostly available in Nepal is this corn and soybean, which which uh, which yields this amount of uh, oil. And uh, and uh, let's talk about what is microalgae. Microalgae is a simple emission of auto autotrophic means it uh, it uses nitrogen and phosphorus. To, uh, to, uh, to growth by using the light energy that is sunlight and uh, it, uh, it converts it converts it into liquids which after its transistor mixings can be used uh, as uh, energy source algae farming uh, is uh, most of the most of us are not familiar about the algae farming uh, algae farming and I'm gonna uh, talk about it it will take some time I'm sorry about that and uh, algae farming all these grow all it grows in presence of carbon dioxide sunlight and nutrients uh, Nutrients uh, like phosphorus and nitrogen, and it is unicellular organisms. Uh, as it is unicellular organisms, it, it is uh, more efficient in, in photosynthesis, which will enhance its productions, and it is suitable for suitable. Suitable uh, temperature is 20 to 30 degrees centigrade, and pH uh, should be maintained in 8 to 10 uh, value. And growth rate, uh, its growth rate is high; it can double in 24 hours. And its limitations is that uh, oh, sorry, uh, can be closer in land. It open open pressure point can be collected in land, but it's, uh, it is necessary that it uh, should have enough access to sunlight. And there are two types of algae farming. One is pressure point, and another is photobioreactor. And uh, pressure point is we can uh, uh, we can produce uh, grow algae in any uh, natural point or uh, uh, or by designing the artificial point. And the depth of uh, Reservoir should be less than 5 centimeters so that uh, proper photosynthesis might take place. 
and uh, it is here who is uh, there is necessary of parallel for the proper probability and so that pro pro proper photosynthesis might take place and vapors is for same purpose and nutrition is added during the uh, daytime or when uh, sunlight is presented and CO2 is absorbed from the open atmosphere and uh, its limitation is that uh, there will be high evaporations from the uh, with increase in temperature and temperature flow due to fluctuation in temperature it, uh, it, uh, there will be deviations in its production is it? And another is photobioreactor. It is um, it is it is done in a closed container and its container uh, size should not be sorry, should not be greater than 2 cm so that proper photosynthesis can be taken place and CO2 here is uh, advantage that CO2 can be uh, given to the algae uh, by extracting the carbon dioxide from the um, uh, from the emits of uh, industrial waste industrial emittance and here from this uh, technique we can. We can uh, we can take uh, higher productivity and it is yeah. it is producing uh, human pro uh, nutrition cosmetics and harvesting techniques is centrifugations uh, using centrifugal force gravity centrifugation and progressions means uh, we can done it uh, do it by industrial aggregations or by uh, providing compressor and so that it will be fruit in the upper layer and we can extract from that and extract of uh, well, this is the main part that I have done and uh, the uh, you have two batches of 50 gram uh, of dried all these based in the extractor and uh, then from there dry glycerate this dry glycerate is extracted and it is done at 50 degrees centigrade uh, with 10 cycle each and uh, from this from the, from the uh, by taking 100 gram of 100 gram of uh, all give I did, I have uh, accumulated only 19.6 gram of uh, oil and the, after the determinations of that oil, I have done gone, I have gone through the transistor friction reactions. Uh, for this, this equipment is used. This is a this is rotameter with heating element. Sorry, this is used for heating and steering. And um, and during this, and molar ratio of uh, methanol, methanol to tri triglyceride is made uh, of ratio to one. And uh, and this. This transistor friction is it takes place in 55 degrees centigrade below the boiling point of uh, methanol so that it cannot be uh, evaporated for 90 minutes with the by using the magnetic steamer. And from this, uh, after this uh, transistor friction reactions, I have determined the uh, all the uh, biodiesel over here, this uh, chemistry over here. You might see yes. Uh, and from these reactions, I have determined four, four milliliter of biodiesel from. Uh, Microalgae is I have uh, further to determine the specific species of algae that is, uh, I have used is spirulina. And uh, I have just uh, just produced this foamal of uh, foamal of uh, biodiesel, which is not uh, which is not which is no. not enough you know, for the testing of relative emissions. So for for this purpose, I am I am uh, I am still on progress uh, for. Uh, producing it in it in large scale so that uh, its emissions can be tested. The estimated the estimated relative emissions between the petroleum diesel and biodiesel is as for is shown here. The carbon dioxide is far less than the uh, than it, it can be produced from the diesel, petroleum diesel and the sulfur is zero percent. You can see here it is from the biodiesel and uh, from its limitation is nitrogen oxides. It can be reduced by using uh, catalyst as well and benefits. In Nepal, I, I got this data from the uh, Annapurna post, so yeah. uh, and, uh, and from that data, uh, uh, annually in 2017, we, we have consumed uh, 10 lakh 80,000 kilogram of biodiesels, and from by farming uh, microalgae in just 4,000 4, hectares, we can fulfill the uh, demand by 50% in uh, by growing algae in 4,000 hectares, and. Uh, for this on the land can be used, but uh, there must be the presence of excess sunlight and uh, sewage water. Sewage water can be used which contains nutrients and it can be grown grow in any season by using photobioreactor. I think we are running out of the time. Can you go to the dialogue, sir, to the conclusion? And economics is it is quite uh, economic, quite expensive than the uh, than uh, diesel, but it is uh, in. In case of uh, in the view of uh, eco-friendly, it is uh, it is not uh, too much expensive. That is 20 percent, and the cost can be improved by. Yeah.
improvement of uh, improvement in genetic and metabolic engineering using uh, photobioreactor and converse which which, uh, which does not emit uh, uh, greenhouse gases and can pollutants can be reduced significantly and references okay thank you thank you very much for nice presentation now i would like to request uh,